<laughs> Let's make some fish. I really used to hate fish when I was little. My mom used to cook fish like a lot because she really liked it. And I hated it because it made the whole house smell like fish and it drove me up the freaking wall. But anyways, fish is really great because it's quick. It's really quick and it's easy. It's so much simpler than beef, ham, tur all of them. It's the easiest one. This is the meal that you should make if you've just got home from work and you're like this close to getting in the car and just driving to McDonald's. Because you can get it started um, right once you get in. Take off your clothes, you know, do your thing, whatever it is you do. I'm not trying to judge, whatever. And then put in the fish and boom. Eight minutes later, you've got a meal. So just in case you're following along, I'm doing Martha Stewart's cooking school recipe book, whatever, and I'm on page 192 and I'm making the braised fish with fennel and tomato. Anyways, I hope you enjoy, I hope you like it. I present unto you, Madame, Monsieur, du le monde, um, braised fish with fennel. <laughs> I don't even actually use fennel in this recipe because I couldn't find any, so I use fennel seed. Which, actually, here, big, big, big alert, you're not supposed to inter exchange them, interchange them. However, for this recipe, I figured it would work, but, do, like, don't do that. Like, if you have a recipe and it's, like, fennel, and you're like, oh, that girl on YouTube used fennel seed instead of fennel, I think I'll do the same. Don't. Don't follow my example. Alright, let's let's eat now, alright? Cool. Do. So this is what you're gonna need. Um fennel seeds, like I said, salt, ground pepper, um, extra virgin olive oil, two tomatoes, one cup of water, and garlic, two cloves, and four lemon wedges. Or lemon rounds, I'm sorry. See look at those. That's, I'm assuming that's what a lemon round is. They didn't tell me exactly, but it's a lemon and it's round. So, cool. Right? I don't know. I'm guessing. Oh, and your fish. <laughs> Duh. You're definitely going to need your fish. Okay, so pour in your one cup of water. And then three tablespoons of olive oil. And then your tomatoes. I put, I, I like tomatoes, so I just made sure I had a lot of them. Look at that slow motion. <laughs> uh, and then four lemon rounds. I really hope that's what a lemon round is. And then your garlic. Uh, fennel seeds. I put like a heaping palm full of fennel seeds. I, I, I know that's not like exact measurement terminology, but you get it. Ground black pepper. It said just season with it, so I just put like one layer over the entire pot. And then Hawaiian, or I'm sorry, Himalayan pink salt. It is the best salt ever. And again, just a layer. Then turn on your heat and get all of that to boil. Wasn't that flame thing awesome? I love cooking with gas. And then you're going to um, put salt and pepper on both sides of your fish while you're letting that boil. So it needs to boil for about um, 8 minutes, 6 to 8 minutes. No, I just lied to you. 12 to 15 minutes. 12 to 15. And just do that on both sides, the salt and pepper. And it should look like that. Simple. So then once your stuff is boiling, um, you're going to put your fish in it. I added uh, some more olive oil just because I was nervous. I was like, ooh, that doesn't look like enough liquid. And I'm glad that I did. Um, but yeah, you're going to put your fish in it. Eventually, I guess I'll do that. There you go. <laughs> um, and then bring it to a simmer and let it simmer for six to eight minutes. Um, and then it should be done. And it should look like this. Isn't that cute? I put the little lemon on top, like in a fancy restaurant. And you can have this with your quinoa stuffed avocado. Oh, oh. Came full circle. 